What did Wonder Woman say to Superman after he gifted her the bottled city? I appreciate your candor. Thanks for stopping by to check out Comic Book Editions Volume 130. In today's video, I'm going to share with you some of the comic book slash superhero items that I received as Christmas gifts for Christmas 2022. I'm really glad that you're here today. I want to get started with this big old boy. The DC Comics Who's Who Omnibus, Volume Number 1. This was a gift from my friends, Michael and Brian. They went together to get this for me. They are twin brothers who have been collectors since they were kids, too. So they love the same Bronze Age books that I love. We always have a great time when we get to hang out and we've done some comic shows together. Uh, we always kind of know what the other person might be looking for when we're hunting, too. So it's always more pairs of eyes looking for what we might want. I think that this book actually serves a dual purpose. In addition to enjoying the book aspect of it, I probably could take this book and uh, use it to exercise with. Get those muscles built up. This is quite the book. This is quite the omnibus. You might remember that um, I had a She-Hulk omnibus that I got, and I showed this recently in a comic book editions video. So grabbing that She-Hulk omnibus and putting it here, you see how, how thick that is, and then you see how thick the Who's Who omnibus is. Big difference, right? The Who's Who omnibus actually checks in at 1,300 plus pages. I've wanted this since it first was solicited. Um, kind of fell off my radar a little bit. I hadn't been thinking about it recently, so I was really surprised when I unboxed this on Christmas morning. This reprints the original DC Comics Who's Who series along with some of the updates way back in the 1980s. So I'm going to be excited to open it up and really uh, enjoy the artwork and see how some of the characters have changed since the 1980s. And there is a volume two that's out right now, and I might put that on my radar, or it's kind of on my radar right now. Maybe I'll consider picking that up uh, now that I have volume one. Stoked though. My omnibus game has really increased lately, and uh, this certainly helps. So thanks guys, I appreciate it. My friend Mr. Fridge Art sent me some awesome items, including some superhero Funko Pops, specifically some Wonder Woman Funko Pops. Look at this oversized Wonder Woman on Pegasus Funko Pop. Now, I knew of this, but I had never actually seen one in the wild. This is my first time seeing it with my own eyes, and it's even more awesome in person. So thank you for thinking of me, Mr. Fridgeart, and getting this for me. I have a pretty good collection, pretty sizable collection of the Wonder Woman Funko Pops, and I always try to stay on top of those and make sure that uh, I have the Wonder Woman ones. There might be a few really rare variants that I'm missing, but the general pops I always try to make sure to get into my collection as soon as I can. Last year, they added a lot of Wonder Woman pops in celebration of her 80th anniversary, and I've still been playing catch up on making sure that I have all of those. But Mr. Fridge Art actually helped me with that by sending some, like Wonder Woman Red Sun, who's part of the 80th anniversary collection. Silver-haired Bronze Age Babe was a guest last year on Fanboys Live at the Retro Review and chose the Superman Red Sun story, which features Wonder Woman, to Retro Review. And I really enjoyed that. So this pop reminds me of how much I enjoyed that story and having Shebab on the show that night. One Wonder Woman-themed Funko Pop I wish they had was Donna Troy in her red jumpsuit. And I can't believe out of all of the Funko Pops that they put out, I don't think that there is or has been a Wonder Girl Donna Troy in the red jumpsuit. My gosh, Yara Floor even has a Funko Pop. But Donna Troy in red jumpsuit doesn't? We've got to fix that. There's something wrong with that. Also part of the 80th anniversary collection, White Lantern Wonder Woman. I know that Comic Food 2814 uh, actually got this a, a version of this in his collection before I did. But thanks to Mr. Fridge Art, I am all taken care of. One thing that I need to do is just go through and make sure that I am caught up with all of the Funko Pops. There is a Wonder Woman Funko Pop that has come out since the 80th anniversary that I just picked up but haven't shown on my channel yet. Maybe I'll do that next week. But 
as I said, one thing I need to do is just figure out which ones I'm missing and which ones I have. I think I might be caught up though, especially thanks to Mr. Bridgeart. Here's an exclusive pop that he got from the DC shop uh, for me. And I'm excited to have the black and white version of Diana Prince from uh, the Snyder Cut of the Justice League movie. So thank you so much, Mr. Fridge Art, for your friendship and thinking of me with uh, the wonderful Christmas presents, too. I hope you enjoyed the ones I sent you and um, really appreciate you. So to continue the rest of today's video, we're actually going to jump back to Christmas night and share with you the unboxing I did then from my friend Andre in Brazil, who sent me some Christmas presents. You're probably familiar with my friend Andre in Brazil from the numerous AOKs that I've shared on my channel. Early on in my YouTubing, Andre sent me a package and I didn't film the unboxing and I regretted it so much. Andre has sent me a Christmas present and I said to him, should I be filming this as an unboxing? And he said, probably. So we're going to open up my final Christmas present of 2022 right now and share it with you after you come out of fast forward mode. Okie dokie, we're all set to see what he sent. First of all, Andre, thank you so much for the Christmas gift. I told you you didn't have to send anything. I went ahead and did it anyway because I wanted to make sure I had something for Christmas and I appreciate it so much. And I'm excited to see what you sent. So let's find out together. This is my visual right now. All right, I see one thing sticking up in the back and I can identify what it is already. So that's gonna be the first thing that I'm gonna pull out. Now watch, Andre will be mad because this is probably the, the big thing that he wanted me to save to the end. But I see it first and I know what it is. So, oh yes, look at this record album. This is so awesome, Superman and Wonder Woman. Oh, wow. I have known of this existence of this, but to be honest, I didn't know that it was a big 12-inch record album. I thought it was like a small 7-inch uh, 45 with a picture sleeve, but no, this is a big 12-inch album. That is so cool to finally have one of these. And I mean, this is vintage. Um, oh, that is so awesome. I am so excited. The, the children's record albums of Wonder Woman has been... Um, Something that I've always enjoyed as part of my collection. I wanted to take a look at the label here. Uh, nothing extra special about the label. I don't know exactly if these are songs or children's stories or, and, or what exactly the content on this album is. Uh, the back of the album just advertises some other children's albums that they have available. Um, oh, wow. I am stoked. I've wanted this for quite some time. Good Christmas present. Andre, you did good. You did very good. And the record survived. It didn't break either, which is also, also nice. Oh, wow. Um, I'm not familiar with that image of Wonder Woman either. That's probably something that was created exclusively for this project, uh, this record album. But if this image has been used in something else, make sure to leave me a comment below and let me know. Oh, that's awesome. Thank you, my friend. Thank you so much. Okay. I haven't really seen any of the other stuff, so let's see what we have. <laughs> Look at that! Wonder Woman pencil case. That's cool. Loving that. Nice. A, a newer Wonder Woman item. It's really interesting to me how much of the Wonder Woman items different regions of the world have. You know, there's some stuff that we have in the United States that's easy to find, but, you know, for Andre in Brazil, it's much harder for him to find that item. And vice versa, there's stuff over there that I've never even seen here in the United States that they have uh, items of. So, very, very cool. I like it. Okay. Ooh, look at that. Oh, wow. I don't exactly know what this is. It's just like on 
I wouldn't call it cardboard. It's on much thicker board than that. It, it might be just like a, a wall decal, I'm guessing, because I see some fasteners on the back for it. Um, love this image. Uh, this image has been used on a few different Wonder Woman products and has always been one of my favorites, but I like how they cropped it up close too. That's pretty cool. Didn't even, I had no idea that this even existed. That's awesome. Thank you, thank you. I need to get that actually on the wall behind me, especially with the white background, that would match so well. And Jean Mullo can stop saying, get something on your background, on your wall. I know I need to. It's cool. Oh, look at this, some Wonder Woman uh, party. Party toppers, I think. That's cool. Vintage as well from the 1980s. Soon after, they changed the logo from the Eagle to the Double W. I like that. Andre gave me like um, a centerpiece like this when we met in person in Chicago a few years ago, too. A very hard to find Brazilian one, too, that was vintage. That's awesome. I love that. Oh, I love that so much. Sealed in its original packaging. The back is just the. That is sweet. Aw. You've gone out of your way for me, my friend, and I certainly do appreciate it. It looks like I got a, a comic book here. Oh, Superman and Spider-Man. Now, this is tiny. This is slightly bigger than like a U.S. Digest size just slightly bigger not much i love these little bags and boards that andre has for these two i can't find these in the united states the bags and boards that are these size that's cool that's awesome i have um you know the original superman versus spider-man is a book i don't have but i'd like to own someday but this was the second one that they did and i have the u.s version which is actually a big treasury size and um, on the back, I think it's got Wonder Woman, Batman, Hulk, and getting a Marvel character that's on the back. Oh, that's going to be fun to look through. And uh, even though it's, it's not in English, I'm sure the artwork's going to bring back a lot of memories for me, too. Oh, that's awesome. I love that. Thank you. Looks like I got another comic book about the same size. Ooh, look at that. There's a cover I've never seen before for DC 2000 with Superman and Lobo. I'm sure that's a Brazilian exclusive cover. It's in very nice shape, too. Very, very nice. Digging it. Got the main man going on here. Nice. I also have to say how happy I am that a lot of these foreign edition uh, versions of the books that I get, I'm able to check mark in my CLZ app. So I'm a huge fan of the CLZ app. It's changed the way I collect. And it's nice that I don't have to struggle to find them or remember them or that they have a lot of these already in the app. It goes to show what a nice job that they do on there. I could brag on the CLZ app all day. Very, very nice. Awesome. Thank you, my friend. I got another comic book. What's this? Oh, it looks like a Justice League, like uh, like a Justice League, perhaps um, post crisis Justice League, or an eighty six, eighty seven, or so at least in the U.S. Maybe a year later over in Brazil, but I don't recognize this cover either. Could be another Brazilian exclusive, which I love. I've said this many times, I love the comic book covers that had different covers overseas than they have here in the United States. That's awesome. Thank you. Nice yellow background on that one. Okay, there is this, which was, okay, this is not my fault because this was face up. 
another Gal Gadot cover. Love this. I know this was not uh, a cover in the United States. So I've definitely been working on uh, focusing in my collection on the Gal Gadot Wonder Woman photo covers that have been done across the world too. And um, I didn't have this one. So this is sweet. Looks like it's probably a JLA comic book uh, that they used in promotion at the time that the first Wonder Woman film was being released. It's a little Panini action there. Possibly the, you know, it looks like it says the LJA, but I'm sure that's the equivalent to the JLA uh, in the United States. Uh, and it's the Panini edition uh, issue seven, which doesn't necessarily mean that it's equivalent to the U.S. issue seven. Because sometimes their numbering is a little bit different. That's cool. On the back, uh, we have this image here. Awesome. I think there's maybe one more thing in here. I'm not trying to look. Nope, there's at least two things left. Okay, what do we have next? I'm so stoked. I've loved everything that's been in this package, but this is, uh, you might have seen me shown, uh, show some of these on my channel before from other AOKs that Andre has sent. Several years ago, there was a convention, a Brazilian comic book convention that had these exclusive covers. And not only do you have the supervillains on the front here, but when you flip it over, you got the heroes ready to fight them on the other side. That's a nice wraparound cover. Isn't that cool? So in the past, um, Andre has sent me the Batman one, the Wonder Woman one, the Superman one, the Green Lantern one, which also had Green Arrow in it. And if I'm not mistaken, this was the last one that I needed to have to have the full set. Yes, Andre said that these were very hard to find as well. So thank you for digging one out for me and letting me be able to complete my collection. I am so Dope. I, this has been an awesome Christmas present. Oh, man. It's a, a Justice League comic book inside, too, with this exclusive cover on for this convention. Awesome. And if you haven't seen those other videos, um, you do need to check them out. Now that I have the full set of those, I want to uh, feature them on my Instagram sometime, too. And... Um, show all of them together. So hopefully I'll be making a post like that sometime in the future. It's awesome. It's not about the simplicity of just the white background. I think sometimes less is more. And in this case, I think it really pays off. So I think there's one more item in here. See, I've just been taking items out kind of like this and, and, and not really looking. I think there's one more item in here, if I'm not mistaken. Do you believe that that's the end of the item? Oh, look, another record. Now, I knew of the existence of this as well. This is a smaller 45, a seven inch record. Oh, wow. I think that this is, I could be wrong on this. This might be the TV theme, but in Portuguese, perhaps. That is awesome. The back is. is Pretty minimal on the back. Um, let's see if the the record it's the record itself has any pictures on it. Nope, just a standard forty five. Oh wow! And I mean, both of these records made it here, undamaged, all the way from Brazil. I mean, all the traveling they had to do during the holiday season, and they still made it to me unscathed. That's pretty amazing in itself. I am so glad that I filmed this. I would have been very disappointed had I not. Um, thank you, Andre, and all my friends who um, wanted to share Christmas and celebrate Christmas with me. Uh, your friendship, though, truly is the best gift, and I really appreciate it. Thank you to what? Thank you rather for watching this comic book editions video. Out of everything that I've shown today, what was your favorite? I'd love for you to leave a comment below and let me know. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. It's another great way to show support. Sharing my channel or this video with someone that you think might be of interest is another great way to show support. Give this video a thumbs up, a like, 
And as I said, we can dialogue about what your favorite thing was that I showed. If you have any of the things that I showed in your personal collection or anything you want to dialogue below in the comment sections, as your comments are welcomed, encouraged, and appreciated. Thank you again for making it to the end of this comic book editions video. Thank you, Andre. You're awesome. And all of my friends who I shared Christmas uh, gifts with in this video too. Plus all my other friends that I celebrated with, even if we didn't exchange gifts, having you in my life means a lot to me. Thanks again. Have a great rest of your day. Take care, and I'll see you next week for the next comic book editions video.